With any luck, that is the end of that thing. You stand before the shining portal that devoured the dragon. This close, you see it as a ragged-edged tear in the world. As you near, the portal flares bright. Brighter, too bright to stand. When the light fades and at last you can see again, a great shaggy aurochs stands before you. A bone-snapping chill radiates from the creature. It is the manifestation of Remergaunt. Herald of Bereth, you teeter on the very precipice of your death to once again violate my realm. Do you desire dissolution after all? Aora asks much of you and gives you little in return. I, however, will give you the peace you yearn for. A deep, dry chuckle reverberates throughout the chamber. It shakes the platform beneath your feet. Then comes a crack and a moan, like ice calving. You are momentarily weightless, formless, free. And then you know no more. To once again violate my realm, do you desire dissolution after all? Yes, Bereth does keep their hound on a short leash. Should you ever want for a final freedom from the Pallid Knight's grasp, seek me. I will gladly grant it. Passing through the breach will shred your soul into its constituent parts, to little more than wayward motes of essence. Knowing that, what do you want? I am Remergand. A frigid wind blasts from the mouth of the portal, engulfing you in a storm of dancing snow. You can't catch your breath. You can hardly keep your feet. When the wind dies down at last, and you can finally breathe again, your extremities have gone white from the cold. You cannot feel your hands. You will remember me now. Her soul was drawn through the breach, the Vitmouth, and into the beyond. Neriskirlas has bound her soul to a relic from the days when the gods walked Aora as titans. This relic lies in the beyond, and it holds her soul captive there. It is one of the many things Kith have thrown into the beyond, in hopes it might be devoured by the White Void. The relic cannot be destroyed. In her ignorance, Neriskirlas hoped that tying her soul to it would save her from death. She is mistaken. True death has not claimed her yet. But it will. It is inevitable. Yes, the iceberg is the natural result of Neriskirilas' desperate attempt to evade death. Every time she escapes from the beyond into the here, she tears the hole a little wider. And so, the chill of my realm spreads. The Vitmouth is the gaping maw of entropy. The White Void is the hunger that gnaws at the guts of Aora and cannot be sated. That is unfortunate for you. That you trust still in me or any god to deal honestly with you, it is remarkable. Naive, but remarkable. There is something you may do for me. Like a maggot. The dragon Neriskirlas has burrowed beneath the skin of my realm. Destroy her. She is already dead. She refuses to acknowledge it. She has made herself immune to destruction by my hand, and in so doing, she mocks the very essence of my realm. 
The relic she bound her soul to has proven impervious to my influence. I can yet do many things, Herald of Bereth. The ice climbs your waist. It squeezes tight around your chest. Every breath you take is shallower than the last. Spots dance before your eyes. The ice climbs to cover your mouth, your head. When you are completely encased in ice, it begins to climb down your throat. The cold burns in your belly. As your companions look on in horror, Remergon freezes you from the inside out. But you lack the means to enter the Vietmouth and survive the journey. You must seek the Eye of Remergand, a relic that once belonged to my vassal, Reenheider. It is a cold blue stone, and it lies somewhere within this temple. The White Void's only purpose is to destroy souls. And it is adept at doing so. I will not stop my servants there from their work. They will treat you no differently than any wayward soul. Should you fall to their predations, not even Bereth will be able to save you. Remergond pauses, his dark cluster of eyes watching you intently. One final thing. Watcher, you must destroy that dragon. When his words fall silent, and only the shriek of the wind through the breach remains, the light flares again, then quickly dies. You open your eyes and find the beast gone. The blinding light of the breach pulses in time with the heartbeat of Aora. Your soul pulses in response. Remergond exhales a long, satisfied sigh. As you near the breach, the pulsing in your soul quickens. A sudden yearning overwhelms you, and before you've had a moment to second-guess your actions, you reach toward the light. Your soul is ripped from you and shredded into countless threads of essence. Your lifeless body collapses to the ground. You have met your final end.